Hi folks, we're back at the Triumph for Claim after our little disaster when the brakes failed. Let's have a look and find out exactly what happened. See you in a minute. Right, well as you know, I've actually refurbished the whole of the front brake system on this Triumph for Claim, powder coated, new seals, new hoses, everything. And I took it for a test drive around just before the, the MOT and um, it ran fine. I just went up to get some petrol in it and went to put my foot on the brake and obviously no brakes. You saw that in the last video. So I've done a bit of research. We got the car up in the air and what we found was this. Let me show you. Now this is a brand new brake hose, which I fitted to it. And I know for a fact that these were fine. These were absolutely all right. Now. This is what I found, look. Forget about the serrated marks there. That's just where I've had to clamp the hose off. But that's what I found. Can, can you see that? That's, I don't think it's a slice. It looks like a, a sort of a, a, a wear mark, which I find very strange. It's gone right through. But let me just show you where that wear mark actually, well, I call it a wear mark. I know for a fact that wasn't there when I installed this because it's right on show. Let me show you. So this is the new hose, which I've put in situ now. And if I show you where that actual mark was, let me get this the right way around first, hold on. So that went uh, that way around. So that would have been on there like that. There's the clamp, which sits there. And then holding that where it is, that goes up to there. And can you see where that mark is? Or where, where it is? Right there, look. That's where the slot is. And there's nothing there. There is nothing there what would cause that to rub in this area whatsoever. The wheel's not in the way, there's nothing else in the steering there. And that is actually where the slice was, right there. And I can't work it out exactly what it is. If I open it up, I mean, it looks like it's sliced from the outside and it's gone through the, the obviously the layers, but this is, don't forget, I would have seen that when I reassembled this, although I didn't do this one on camera, I've done the other one on camera, I would have seen that and anyone would have seen that because I mean, Normally when hoses go, you see a little bit of a perforation around the edge there, for example, with cracked rubber and stuff like that. And it's easy to spot, but that right in the middle of the pipe, right there, I haven't got a clue on how that has happened. That, I can't believe. I don't know why that's happened. I've got no answer to, as that looks like it's worn away from the outside. I honestly can't tell you, I don't know. So there you go, that was the problem. So the brakes, the brakes, the brakes have been bled up now, and um, we've checked them, and they're actually fine. I've just had a look down the other side. I just wanted to make sure that the other side was okay. And if I show you the other side with the wheel on, you can see that nothing actually is there to cause that to happen. Now I'm under the other side now, and I know you probably can't see the hose, but you can see it coming down there, and right about where my finger's pointing there, that's where the problem would have occurred. Now I'm sure you can see that under the car from on the other side. There's just nothing there. There is nothing there to cause that issue. No rubbing, no nothing. Let me go to the other side if I can to show you. So I'm gonna bring the camera around. This, again, this is the other side of the car. Now I don't know whether you can see there. I'll try and put it in there, look. Can you see, this is, the, this is the hose here. This is where the hole would have been here. There's just nothing there. I haven't got a clue as to how that happened, why it happened. But it would be easy for someone to come in and do something there by just putting your hand in the top like this. I don't know. But also what's happened as well, again, on this side where the car was parked in my drive is the wing's been scratched. Let me show you. Now, as you can see there, someone or something has actually gone and the wing's been scratched here. Now, the car was parked where you barely could walk down the side of it, basically. So that has happened as well. So I'm going to have to touch that in as well. well. I've got lucky enough, I've got some spare paint, but I will touch that in as well. But that wasn't there. And all this happened while we was away on holiday, I gather. Now, lucky enough, we've got CCTV out the front, so I'll be going through hours and hours of footage uh, for the last month, because, as I say, we've been away on holiday for 18 days in that period of time. So we'll be going through the CCTV footage just to see if someone did come along and maybe do something. I don't know. I'm just assuming. I don't know. But uh, I know for a fact that when I refurbished this, that that definitely wasn't on show. There was nothing there. And I don't know for the life of me how that would have happened. So there you go, That's, that was the cause of it. So bear with me, I'm just gonna put the wheel back on now, shut the bonnet down, it's been bled as I said to you, and then we're gonna go and book an MOT. So anyway, I'll see you shortly, bye for now. Right, okay, here we go. It's maiden test void, Sharon. We're booked in for MOT, everything. Brakes. 
Yes, we've got brakes. Of course we've got brakes, babe. We've got no petrol, mind you, but uh, we've got brakes. Got right, okay. Down to the MOT station. Hope no one sees me. So, Sharon, this is the second drive in it. You've not had a drive in it yet. That's my first time in it, actually. And just let the people hear the, uh, the engine. Absolutely lovely. It drives. I did straighten the wheel up. I'm still one tooth out. Look, on the notch, that's a simple job, does. Wipers work. Yes, everything works, Sharon. So, there you go. This is its maiden test voyage again, people, with uh, hopefully with, with brakes that work now. <laughs> But the gearbox is as sweet as anything and it's really nippy as well so i'm just hoping we've got enough petrol to go to the um the mot station which is uh about two miles away because that's also the petrol station so again i will just change that wheel up i've done it in the drive i didn't quite get it right as you can see but uh temperatures are still pretty cold at the moment although i'm running with a choke off now so but i'm not getting too near to the car in front here because you never know because no. <laughs> I, was, I was driving around the block like this on our first test journey and I was braking and everything was fine but it looks I don't know shall I, I'll show you the, the pipe when we uh, get back but I can't work out why that's happened or whatever I've told to the people I've told the people we're going to check our CCTV footage just to see if there's been a bit of sabotage going on which I wouldn't have thought so but I you never know so. but you never know shall you don't know people today yep I mean I watch CSI crime what I might have is the hose. I've just got insured again for another uh, 35 pounds again for another two days of insurance. Oh, there we go. So in total now, this has cost me 70 pounds to insure this for four days in total, but I only wanted two days initially, but. Uh, that's my fear as well, show running out of petrol. Mind you, I've driven Jimmy car with no miles in it to the petrol station. Yeah, but you can't tell. I, oh, see, all I do know is, is that the fuel system in this is absolutely A1 now. The tank's clean, the fuel lines are clean, the carbs are clean. But I know it's got very little fuel in it, you see. And it is fresh fuel, because uh, I got it from the petrol station, so it's not as if it's got old fuel in it, you know. Here we go, Baden Voyage people. So as I say, I've got two days insurance, just in case it needs a little couple of uh, things doing to it, like the odd bulb that might be out or stuff like that, you know, you never you never can tell with old connections. But um, I wouldn't have thought anything major would have uh, been needed because it's all been done. Not many of these left on the road now, as you well know. So make your offers. And uh, as I say, it's going up for sale. Um, Goodbye. I've got to get onto the trotter van next, as you well know. Right, I'm going to pull out now because we're pulling into the petrol station very shortly. We're at the MOT, so I'll see you in a minute, folks. Well, it's back from the MOT station and it failed. Look, headlamp aim too low, near side front, headlamp aim too low, offside front, fog light isn't working. Now, we've got a pass. <laughs> Here we go, try it for claim. No advisories, no nothing after them little jobs. So, as you can see, last time it was MOT'd was 2006, 2007, 2014. There's the mileage, 64,000, 65,853. And just before I took it off the road was 66,438. It's now done 66,447. So it's literally a handful of miles it's done. And it's all legal. So it had to be done. I mean, that, the fog lights, I, I must admit, I didn't check the fog lights, to be honest with you. And I knew that the, the lamps weren't going to line up. But... Um, he was kind enough to do them for us as well, so that was uh, handy. But he'd already put it through the system as a foul before we actually done them. So there you go. Three little things. That's not too bad, is it? Headlamps, aim, and uh, a fog light at the back. So that's no problem whatsoever. So the car's now got a full MOT. And as you can see there, it's done virtually no miles in the time that I've had it. And even since uh, 2006, it's only done 400-odd miles, if that, in, since 2006, which is uh, 14 years ago. And there you go, it runs absolute treat now. And I know there's still a few little jobs to tinker about on it. You know, little things like this has got to be painted black down there. I could do it, but I mean, 
you know, I'll leave that for the new owner, I think, just to tinker about with. So we got that. Baby. Yes. Look, it passed. How do you think about that? I'm now on the countdown to stay. Bye bye. Good riddance. <laughs> Nice and early for six years, but it's time you moved on. So yeah, I mean, it's not perfect. It's a, it's a working classic at the end of the day. All the necessary things that needed to be done have been done now. You know, things like this, which, which are hard to get hold of, like that strip going in there. This is a brand new rubber seal around the back and you can't get one of them for love nor money. It took me two years to find one of them. That's brand new. Uh, okay, the body work's still probably got a few little issues. I'm gonna have to touch up that wing, as I said to you, on the front there. And uh, it is a working classic. So there we go, I'll probably end up giving it a clean and uh, the new owner can finish off tinkering about with it. And as you know, it's also got a brand new battery on as well and uh, it runs an absolute dream. So it'll make someone a nice little classic. No computers to worry about in this little beast so you can play about to your heart's content having a little tinker with it, knowing that uh, it's now got a year's ticket on it. So with no advisories at all. So there you go, that's the end of the series on the Triumph for Claim. And uh, I'm gonna be putting this up for sale very, very shortly. I'll probably put it on eBay if anybody's interested. So. Um, yeah, there you go. It's going, and all the work I've done to it, I know there's plenty of little jobs, as I said to you, that probably still need doing on it, but uh, I've done all the work I'm doing on it now, and that's for the new owner, just to tinker about and just touch up little things on a Sunday afternoon, as you should do with cars like this, if you're into classic cars. There you go, thanks very much. If you do like my channel, do don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there, ring the little notification bell, and set your preferences to all. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. Thanks very much, I'll see you in the next video, and until then, bye for now.